What's good everyone, it's MJO23Dan back with another video and today's video I wanted to do a pickup. Today's pickup is going to be... Can you make a guess? Today's pickup is the Air Jordan 3 Cool Gray. So this is another sneaker that is on my list. And if you guys don't know my list, this is my list right here. I have posted it a couple times on social media and on my YouTube. And you know, it's just uh, you know a little list that I have going on for 2017. I've decided to do this uh, probably about the beginning of the year because like new retros haven't really like appealed to me. And I like to get like the older stuff. Um, you know with Jordan brands quality and like craftsmanship issues I mean there's some pairs that are great some that are not but uh, like I really wanted to focus on Like this list right here for 2017 in 2016. I went like crazy you guys can check out like the video that I have up here on the screen uh, But like this is the list that I'm going for for this year. All right, so this pickup right here. I got um, on eBay um, I'm actually like in a little bit of trouble with eBay because I was trying to do a transaction offline, you know, and they're getting really strict with their things there. Fortunately, the guy had like his business info in his eBay profile. Um, that might be like another hack that you guys might look into, but uh, he had his contact details. I messaged him. He ended up being in Northern California, which is where I'm located, and we came up with a deal. So basically, for a shoe that's supposed to be on resale, maybe about 285 to 325 bucks, I got this one for 230 shipped. So nicely packaged. Looks like the guy did a great job with it. Um, fortunate enough to find these. It looks like he was just trying to get rid of them. They smell really good. DS condition, guys. So he wrapped them in the plastic with the bubble wrap. These sneakers were released in 2007, so it looks like they were still giving out the retro cards. You can see Air Jordan and the Air Jordans on the back. Ah, oh, man, this is so great. All right, so I think a few years ago, I actually had a pair of these, but they weren't in my size. I was actually selling it for my cousin who was getting out of the game. And like those sneakers are long gone, guys, so don't hit me up about that. He wore like an eight and a half, nine, and these were part of like his collection. I think I resold it or I helped him resell it for about maybe like about 325, 350-ish. Um, and they went pretty quick like a lot of people were very interested in this sneaker. So overall it is a gray nubuck upper with gray elephant print. On the outsole you have a dark gray rubber outsole with Jordan in red. The air unit is a little bit fogged up but it is orange inside and you also have orange accents up by the laces. Nice red Jumpman on the tongue as well as the back and that orange hit of air as well on the heel tab. White laces and a white lining, white insole, and a red jump man. Overall, this sneaker is pretty clean. I'm glad I was able to get it for the price that I did. Uh, another sneaker that I can cross off my list. Uh, fantastic shoe, I don't see any flaws whatsoever. But like 2007, this shoe was 135 bucks. Now they got up to $220. The Black Cement 3 is slated for a February 2018 release during All-Star Weekend. And that's said to be about $220 retail. But it will have the Nike Air on the back. 2007, I think this was like around the last time that they actually did the Air Jordan 3 well. I think the overall construction and shape of the shoe was still very good. But not as great as 1994. The leathers on say like the white cement of 2003 I think was like one of the last greatest Air Jordan 3s to come out as far as quality is concerned. But 2007 still gets a pass in my book. So at the end of the year I will be going over all of my pickups for 2017. Behind me you see all the pickups that I did off that list and even some in between with new releases and stuff that I've always wanted. 
primarily a lot of this has to do with like deals that I've come across or like sneakers that I'm trying to look for to complete a set. I still need the Seattle 10 by the way. And the Cool Gray 3 is another sneaker that I am adding to my wall. So anyways, if you guys like the content, I would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below, hit me with a big thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.